is our Jack style cheese. It's aged about three to four weeks. Our motto is better for the animal, better for the environment, better for you. If anybody was going to install propane now, I would advise against it. <laughs> That's going to save you, what, three grand? This is awesome. <laughs>Hi, this is Jennifer Argraves and Louisa Cavati, and you're here at Crown S Ranch in Winthrop, Washington. On our farm, we have beef, 85 pigs, laying hens, and then we also have turkeys. We'll do about 200 turkeys this year, and everything is in rotation. So we're all about completing the cycle. Our motto is better for the animal, better for the environment, better for you, and it really is, it takes that and each cycle building on each other to make it not just sustainable but energy efficient. So on the energy stuff, we're about 35%, maybe 30% energy consumption compared to a conventional farm. We do have solar powered uh, 10 houses. We've got mobile chicken trains that's moved by solar power. We use those for convenience, but they're not what we emphasize because the payback isn't really there. Also on the solar powered stuff, there's a lot of maintenance that goes into that stuff. But they're not the low-hanging fruit. The low-hanging fruit, as far as energy is, is the number I, I know of is 40% of the energy on a farm goes into synthetic fertilizers and chemicals are on that. And we don't use any synthetic fertilizers or synthetic chemicals on this farm. We were trying to figure out a way not to use pesticides for fly control. And so he Googled online and he found this design that was from, um, it's a passive walk-through fly trap. But it's basically just baffles on the side. It uses the fly's instinct, instinct to light. So the cow walks through on his way to water and the, the rugs, just rugs, brush off the flies and the flies go to light and they go up through these little holes but they don't go down They because they go to light, they keep going to light and then they die and then they drop down and you have, if you look on the bottom, there's just a ton of flies. And then we take the flies so you don't lose any dead ends and we either feed those to chickens as protein or we compost them so it stays as part of the cycle. Yeah, this is, of course, is why they're all called oh, chicken right. trains. So this is the train that's got a tender. This is the original and train. <laughs> so, yeah, so here's the water. The Pullman car. <laughs> here's the water. It's all recycled materials, like Louis salvaged stuff from, from other farms, unfortunately, that went out. You know, so he has all kinds of metal and it pulls its own feed. But again, the problem with this design, besides You've the train, you've got to go 60 feet to get right, all the way Right, to be all the way. So you have to go all the way up and all the way back and all the, you know. This is where, actually, this is where the pigs were last year, their wallow. And what we do, it's another energy type saving thing, is wherever their, quote, wallow area was last year, we just rototill and make into a garden. And so instead of, it's, the idea is instead of moving your fertilizer to your garden, your garden becomes where your fertilizer is. And right behind you is our WSDA poultry processing part, kitchen. And we collect everything. So even the wash water, if you look, if you look there, you see where the area has been disturbed. There's a huge tank that goes in there. And so all the wash water goes through septic first and then it becomes gray water. And that gray water, we then uh, will pump to go into here. And so we no longer have to use fresh water for our compost.